Right, hello everyone, I'm Jason Mascara. Uh, I'm an IT specialist. I have been for 10 years and I know my stuff. Um, you guys are students in a classroom BC uh, who are curious about you know, what is happening with Internet privacy and where we stand and all that. So the first cause of Internet privacy, which we talked about last time, is uh, activism. Let's get it off a little bit at the bottom there. Uh, what is hacktivism? Hacktivism is where somebody, it's, it's a play on words of activism. So what that means is you know, doing something for a cause, something you believe in. Hacktivism is the same thing, except you're using you know, illegal internet uh, types of stuff to, to bring these points across. So you know, things like hacking up people's websites that you don't agree with, show stuff like that. Uh, one of the biggest perpetrators of this is Anonymous, some of you might know. Um, so yeah, so uh, because of what they've been doing, you know, a lot of people have been saying, well, you know, we want to stop that kind of stuff, so we gotta, we got to kill internet privacy, because it's just it's getting in the way of you know, making sure we have a safe internet. Well, that's not necessarily true for the average user. Uh, most of the time, anything that, we, that will stop the average user is not going to stop somebody who with the skill to hack a website like that. Uh, so. uh, second cause is stolen information. So this is a big one. You know, if you ever had your information stolen, if you ever had you know, identity theft or anything like that, uh, then you can you can understand why you probably want to stop things like this and have, have that kind of thing be monitored. Uh, as somebody with so much experience, I have personally uh, stolen users' names and passwords off of a test computer, just in a, in a state set of network, um, and it's very easy to do. It doesn't take somebody with a lot of skill or anything like that to do it. Uh, really basic stuff. So, you know, that that is not good. That it'll be really easy to take your information. So. That's one of the reasons why I think taking internet privacy away will help. You know, you'll be able to easily notify this kind of stuff and find it. Again, not necessarily true, uh, but I can see where they're coming from on that. Now, the effect of this is we all have a loss of privacy. Now, that's that's not good. Just because these two factors, while they, you know, they may be big and important, it doesn't mean that we all need to lose our privacy on the internet. Uh, we know not you know everybody will know what we're doing, and there's no real way of hiding it. So it's, it's a very inefficient way of covering a, a problem. So it's, it's as if you take a, a small problem relatively and cover it with a large blanket of you know uh, laws and effects that are just really over the top. Uh, 